Welcome to Corporate Finance. Welcome to session 10 of Introduction to Corporate Finance on Making Capital Investment Decisions. And today I have with me a, uh, a sample of one of the most popular, um, supposedly supposed to be popular, highest MPV projects in uh, U.S. history, and that is Cottonelle Fresh Roll Wipes made by Kimberly Clark. Uh, this was launched uh, as a potential blockbuster product. Uh, an article appeared in the Wall Street Journal touting uh, this Cottonelle Fresh Roll White product, uh, saying that uh, we spent $35 million on it um, in um, marketing and $100 million in R&D, and had 30-some patents, and it was a surefire uh, positive MPV project, supposed to generate on the order of $150 million in sales in the first year. Uh, Jay Leno had it on the show. Wall Street Journal touted it in... Um, in its uh, April of 02 edition, April 15th, uh, tax day of 2002. So this was a, supposed to be a big launch and a revolutionary product. Uh, they said the most fundamental change in the toilet paper market since it was first uh, brought out in 1890, and everyone would have this in their house. Well, I must uh, proudly say that this is one of the few uh, that I've found in America. There are none of these around. Uh, try and find it. Uh, go shopping and try and find this product on any of your store shelves. I think you'll have a very difficult uh, find. Uh, I found this in Josh Costa's supermarket up in Smith, Port PA, uh, covered in dust in around 2005. It was like an ar archaeological dig trying to find this thing, yet it was supposed to be the most positive MPV project mankind had ever seen, uh, one of the most positive MPV projects. So we must be careful with our assumptions and our cash flows. And today we want to discuss uh, how do we make good decisions once again? How do we uh, calculate relevant cash flows and incremental cash flows? Um, and some key equations I need to know that will be uh, repeated from earlier chapters. So we're building on some of these concepts we've seen earlier. What is the cash flow from assets on this project? CFFA equals OCF minus NCS minus CNWC. We learned that in Chapter 2 and went it over it again in Chapter 3. Uh, and then some ways to calculate uh, OCF. And, and again, in Chapter uh, 2, we went over this. In Chapter 3, OCF is equal to EBIT plus D minus T. So all you really need is an income statement to calculate the operating cash flow on these major capital investments. And we want to see, uh, again, since assets define the company, what um, are some good ways, what kind of cash flows do we have to look at uh, that's going to be, that are going to be generated from these assets that we're buying with these major capital investments? Uh, and, how, and what kind of care do we have to take to make sure we don't make disastrous decisions like this one? Uh, so five learning objectives in this uh, session. Um, first look at project cash flows. What do we look for when we're calculating these cash flows? And what do we include and not include? Uh, we want to look at two incremental cash flows. What do we mean when we say incremental cash flows? That'll be learning objective number two. Uh, and how do we build pro forma financial statements? What do we mean by pro formas? To me, that means five years of actuals and five years of uh, projections if we have a company that's in existence. But in some cases, on a new project, it may just be five years of projections. But when we say pro forma, it means for a matter of form. And we're talking about an income statement form, a balance sheet form, and a cash flow. Those are the three we must uh, produce whenever we have one of these major investment projects. Uh, what are some alternate definitions of uh, cash flow or upper OCF? Are there other ways to calculate other than EBIT plus D minus T? And the answer is yes. There are generally four methods to calculate OCF. And finally, what are some special cases of DCF analysis? What are some special cases in, in which we can use this that are kind of non-traditional? So first of all, uh, we, the effect of taking on a project like Cottonelle Fresh Roll Wipes is to change the firm's overall cash flows in a positive way today and in the future. And we want positive cash flows, obviously. Um, and we want to see if this project will add value, truly add value to the firm. So I want to look at relevant cash flows. Relevant cash flow is one uh, that comes about as direct consequence of taking on the project. And I want to look at incremental cash flows. Look at these projects as a standalone project. Okay, standalone project. Remember that. And only the uh, incremental cash flows that uh, affect the company as direct consequence of taking on the project. So the standalone principle is very, very important. It is the assumption that uh, this project is based 
on uh, valuation of the project is based on their project's incremental cash flows on a standalone mini firm basis. So treat any of these projects as if they're a standalone mini firm. Do not caution, do not add these projects into the general income statement balance sheet and cash flow of your existing operations. Keep them the same. Keep them separate uh, from the rest of the operation.